Money Show, Season 2, Episode 7. Today we're here with Eddie to talk, give our WrestleMania predictions. WrestleMania 29. Build up this year's WrestleMania. Obviously, like a lot of people, this year's WrestleMania hasn't been the perfect build up, but like some manias, I doubt we'll say this is going to be the worst mania. Yeah, no, uh, it will not be that. I mean, we have WrestleMania's like Ooh. WrestleMania 2, 4, some of the early WrestleMania's, and even like 15, you had Austin and Rock, which is exactly. obviously your favorite match of that WrestleMania, but the whole entire card sucks. So the undercards for a lot of WrestleMania's have tend to be like this, where they're not completely perfect, but we do got three. Top matches this year. We got Lesnar and Triple H, which should be great. Absolutely. Possibly the ending of Triple H's career. Game over. <laughs> uh, the Rock versus John Cena. This time, even bigger than last year. The title's on the line. And then you got Undertaker and CM Punk. While the match should be great, the buildup has been piss poor. What are your thoughts of the buildup with that? I don't mind it. You don't? I don't mind it. Yeah, they started, the first segment they started off was really good. But then that earned segment backstage just kind of fell down, and they they still oh, got they still got this, they still got you know we're we're taping this before Raw this week, so they still got Raw tonight to possibly do some things added to it. So let's just get into WrestleMania. The first matchup be a match I don't think anyone cares about. This is tons of Funk and the Funkadactyls versus oh. Road Scholars and the Bella Twins. That's um, painful. Yeah. That. <laughs> More or less, this match is going to be... You'll you'll have some... Come on, Bella Twins! <laughs> you'll have some comedy things with the Funk... funk uh, tons of Funk, which no one will care about. Just a terrible match and terrible use of Cody Rhodes. Obviously, they should yep. have done Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust this year at WrestleMania. <laughs> But as far as the prediction, I'm going with uh, the Funkadactyls and tons of funk. Who do you think so? I'm win? going with uh, Rhodes and Scholars. Rhodes Scholars and Bella Twins. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, the one thing that is that's not going to be the opener because that will be a bad way to start oh, the show. Absolutely. It should probably just be a pre-show match, but I guess they're going to want to do that. Are they doing a battle royal? I don't know. Okay. So uh, they usually do. I think. Yeah, yeah. They either do a battle royal or a lumberjack match. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what they do with that. Yeah. Okay, the next thing, Sheamus, Randy Orton, and Big Show versus The Shield. The Shield are still on their undefeated streak. i say that Shield wins, there'll be 5-0 no after Mania. Yeah, I think the same thing. And, or 6-0 no if they wrestle on Raw tonight. And they are building it looking like, you know, they possibly could have Big Show, you know, turn on Orton and Sheamus. But it's yeah. so predictable that I don't think they would go that route. They'll probably just have The Shield win this. And yeah. the only way they would want to add someone with the Shield is if it's something like an epic, you know, John Cena Hill turn where yeah. it's showcased that he's been pulling the strings. But hopefully they just keep it, you know, three people. Shield, I think the same thing. The Shield will win. Next match, Ryback and Mark Henry. Ryback goes over. Feed me more. Yeah, I think Ryback will win as well. Um, it should be an entertaining match. Not a great match. It should be an entertaining match. Yeah. What I see with it is... You know, obviously you got the two big guys taking on each other, so it would be more or less a brawl for most of the match. Obviously, the thing that everyone's looking for in the match to see how it's going to be pulled off is Ryback. Is he going to be able to pick Mark Henry up in the shell shock and hit it perfect? If he does that, that match will at least deliver what it should, and obviously yeah. Ryback should go over. Yeah. Uh, then the next matchup, Team Elno, Daniel Bryan and Kane versus Dolph Ziggler and Big E Langston for the tag titles. My plan is that uh, Dolph Ziggler gets pissed off and walks out on him. And Big E gets pinned, Hell No goes over winning, and uh, he'll cash in. Yeah, I think the same thing. That's a perfect way to do it. You don't want Dolph Ziggler to take the pinfall in this match, especially if you're planning for him to cash it in later on. It's really going to de depend on if he's going to cash it in, the, the placement of this match. Now, if the world title match is before this match, then he probably is not going to cash it in. The way it's going to have to happen is the tag match is going to be first, and then the world title, you know, a little after it. That's the way they're going to have to do it. Um, but, yeah, I think the same thing. Dolph Ziggler is going to walk out on Big E Langston. Big E Langston will take the pinfall, and Team Hell No will retain the tag titles, which is the best thing to do. Looked like, you know, a month or two ago that they might have split up Team Hell No, but that WWE did the smart decision, keeping them together. They're heavily over. The fans still love Hell No, and... They need to stay together as long as, you know, they're getting the approval from the fans. And it looks like AJ is about to be with Hell No. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. So, yeah, Team Hell No is going to probably retain the titles, and maybe we'll see Dolph Ziggler cash in the money in the bank later on in the show. Then you got Chris Jericho versus Fandango. This is his oh, first match. God. <laughs> it's 
So what do you think Ooh. of this character Fandango? Uh, <laughs> I hate him, but uh, I think he's going to win. Yeah, I think... God, that was painful to yeah, say. Yeah, I, th I think he's going to win, To To Fandango's credit, as terrible as the gimmick is, we have not seen him wrestle yet, so we don't know how he is in the ring. And mm -hmm. with someone like Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho can pretty much put on a match with anyone, so... I don't think it's going to be a terrible match. I'm going to hate that Jericho loses to him, but Jericho could possibly have it be a decent match, maybe even better than that, and make maybe make Fandango as bad as the gimmick is, make him look, you know, at least at least uh, believable as a wrestler. I know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to come out there and say, "Not tonight. You ain't going to see me <laughs> wrestle tonight." Uh, that would be terrible if they do that. Yeah. That's been the long. The long thing they've been doing with Fandango, they hasn't wrestled yet. Obviously, they wanted to wait till Mania, but yeah. they did something like that. That would be god awful. Oh, terrible. Ter either way, if Jericho can make him look good, it's a terrible way to book Jericho for WrestleMania to have him in this match. But just like you, I think Fandango will win his debut match. Okay, then the next matchup is the IC title: Wade Barrett versus The Miz. I'm saying Miz ahead of him. Yeah, I think the I think the Miz will w win this match. Um, this is a match we've seen a number of times on Raw and SmackDown, so it's not a match we haven't seen before. It'll be your typical TV-style match. Nothing too special, but not a terrible match. And I see you yeah. know, Miz winning, winning this match. And the next matchup will be uh, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. This is the first of the three main events for this WrestleMania. It's Noel's Bar, Triple H career on the line. Oh, Brock's going to win it. I would I, I would think Brock Lesnar would win for this big match, but I'm actually am going to go with Triple H, even though I think there is a chance his career might end. But I'm just thinking the way it's been built up, especially you know Triple H losing at SummerSlam, I cannot really see him losing two matches here. But Lesnar kind of does need the win if they want to put him in a title position after this. So I could see why, yeah, I could see that as well. So I'm I'm going to go with Triple H just because the. Most time when people put their careers online, sometimes they do lose, sometimes they don't. So right. I think I think it can go either way, but it should should be a great match. I kind of wish it would have maybe been held in the cell a different gimmick. What do you think of the no holds barred gimmick? I think it's gonna work because of the Lesnar. Yeah, I mean what they'll do. You're is, looking for a fight. Yeah, I mean they're you this is I mean? just gonna be a brawl and fight. They'll beat the shit out of each other. Obviously, since they did the one thing on Raw with Lesnar getting busted open, I expect that. Even in this PG era of WWE, I think this match, do you think at Mania they'll have blood involved or not? Mm, maybe not blood, but a lot of, you know, just crazy falls yeah. and bumps and shit. Yeah, it kind of depends. We'll have to see there. I think I'm one of those people that, I'm not going to say there needs to be blood in a lot of matches, but I think for this type of match, an old bar, add a little more to it. Kind of like um, Austin have, and Bret Hart. It would add a little to the match if they do it. But yeah. should be a great match, though. Uh, then the next matchup is the first world title match. This is Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger for the world heavyweight title. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm thinking Swagger wins it. Yeah, I'm thinking the th same thing. Swagger's going to win this, and what they're going to do is this is going to be kind of payback. You know, They'll follow through with their original plan of Swagger winning the title, but then Dolph Ziggler comes yeah, out there and cashes it in. That they'll, He'll immediately lose the title. That would be kind of the payback for the whole thing with Swagger. Getting the payback for the whole, you know, pot possession thing, and this would be the thing to kind of pay him back since they didn't suspend him. He wasn't drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's th that's what they'll do there. Um, unfortunately, you know, the thing with Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger, it had a lot of good heat at the beginning. You know, yeah. with Zeb Coulter, it was getting a lot of media attention, but unfortunately, they I guess Stop held that. back a little bit, and they just want to, you know, have have these two, and they kind of. Tone down the rhetoric with Swagger and Zeb Coulter, so... Hey, Zeb Coulter was in the WWE in the early 90s. Yeah, as Dutch Mantel. Exactly. Yeah. So they got, that's the only thing about this. It had some good build to it at first, and then it died off. Swagger, just like you, I think Swagger will win this match, and then Dolph will cash in. Yeah. Then the next matchup, obviously the predictable outcome, but should be a great match. This is Undertaker versus CM Punk. Obviously, 21-0. Yeah, 21 and 0. The streak does does not need to end. It will be one of the worst things to happen if the streak ends. I mean, I'm a huge yeah. CM Punk fan. It, it, it will do something to his career if he did end it, but at the same time, I don't think anyone wants, wants the streak to end. I mean, you've had it gone this long. You don't need to end it. It's one of those things. Undertaker more or less just wrestles this time once a year at WrestleMania, so 
you need to have that still intact. So obviously, exactly. Undertaker's gonna win. Uh, already, we already gave. Like him defending the title, really. Yeah, we already more gave. Important. Yeah, we already gave our thoughts about the build up to it. You actually thought it wasn't too bad. I, I think it's a little lackluster, but match wise, I expect it to be a good match, though. Exactly. Okay, then the last match, obviously the main event, the big money match, The Rock versus John Cena for the WWE title. This is two years in a row, Rock and Cena. This time, the title's on the line. I've always, always thought that was the plan. You know, from uh, the way they ended it at WrestleMania last year, The Rock went over. So I'm thinking Cena's going over. It'd be interesting if he goes heel during that, because the way it looked during that uh, yeah, debate during that, they had. During the debate, it <laughs> did look like they were somewhat teasing that he might go that route, might turn heel. Um, it's one of those things I think a lot of us want to see happen. I've been wanting it to happen for a long time. I know you as well. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things, you know, John Cena's character has gone so stale that if you have something happen where you have him turn heel and you do it in an epic, incredible way, it's going to add a lot to his character. I would love to see it happen. I do see, just like you, John Cena winning this match. It will go one-to-one. -one. Do you think we'll see a rematch next year at WrestleMania? Yeah, you do? I do. Okay. I do. So you think we'll see it three years in a row, and then obviously, you know, the company guy, John Cena, will end up being the one to exactly. go over in that final one. Or if they don't do it next year, WrestleMania, maybe SummerSlam, but you, they probably should save it for WrestleMania if they want to do it three if they want to do it three times. But it might be one of those things. Our fans going to want to see it three times yeah. in in a row. I, I mean, think you that, can pull it off. Yeah, I mean, Especially, I think... It don't matter. Yeah. As long as you're one and one, Cena's got a victory, and Rock's got a victory, you got a reason to get the main game. Yeah, you got a reason to do it. And so. it ain't got to be for the title. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It don't have to be for a title. Um, that might be the only thing fans would hate, is if two years in a row you got the same title match. Exactly. That's the only thing people probably would hate. <laughs> but yeah, just like USC, Cena winning this. So that's the uh, card of WrestleMania. Um, what do you think? You think it's going to be a good show? I think it's going to be a great show. I'm expecting it to be a good show. I don't, um, it m might be great. It kind of all depends. Like, if the three main events deliver like they should, it should be good. And if the undercard delivers more than what it's expecting, it should be a good to great show. So definitely can't wait for WrestleMania this Sunday on pay-per-view at 7 p.m. Can't wait to see it. And uh, is this the end of your show right here? Yeah. Okay, that wraps it up with the Cash Money Show, Season 2, Episode 7. WrestleMania this weekend.